has a lot to do with words, how important words are, how much words can change things. And there's a lot going on in this play about if words are enough to affect the kind of change you need when you're dealing with oppression and racial injustice and fighting for freedom. My Children, My Africa is my favorite play ever. And I'm super excited to be doing the show. Um, it's a story basically at its core, it's about friendship. Um, but it just happens to be set in this volatile time period of apartheid. It's this um, black male student and this white female student who come together to work on a project and they become like great friends. And my character, especially her journey, is one of discovery, you know, one of realizing that things aren't the way that you always thought they were. Um, or maybe you've been thinking in a way for your whole life and then suddenly you realize, you know, you step into someone else's shoes and realize that's not their experience. It's intense with moments of humor. Um, and some lightness. There's some beautiful poetry in it, which I love. What's awesome about a three-person cast, a smaller cast show, is that you really get to see these characters develop. But as far as just characters, I mean, there's a the human element, the personal element of, you know, what is um, true freedom look like and, and love um, between a teacher-student, between friends, you know, what is the element of friendship. One thing that I, I do love about the story is that it, it blends all of those things together in a really beautiful way and that I think everyone can really be touched by. And I think it can be very easy for an audience to go, oh, that was 1984 in South Africa. Some of the attitudes that created apartheid have not disappeared and they have not disappeared in the United States in 2015. It's just a human struggle, you know, of how do we respond when we obviously know injustice is happening. And in this case, obviously there's a huge um, emphasis on words and the power of knowledge and how that is going to be the real you know force for change in the world. People see things on TV, people read them in books, but they can't quite get inside the struggle because they don't know what's actually going on with the individuals in the struggle and I think this is a nice little slice into that. When the audience leaves, what I want them to leave with is a sense of hope. I like to think that without saying to you, this is how you should think. I don't feel the play does that, but I think this play says, here's something you should consider.